Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today we are going to study organic chemistry lesson three properties and sources of alkanes. Physical properties of alkanes. Alkanes are insoluble in the water. They are soluble in the organic solvents. They range from gases to liquids to wax solids. Chemical properties. Before we look at chemical properties, let us define a reaction. A reaction is the breaking and the formation of a bond. Alkanes do not react with the melody chemicals because they have strong carbon, carbon bonds and carbon hydrogen bonds. If a bond fails to break, then the reaction is not going to take place. However, under drastic conditions, alkanes are very reactive. One, alkanes burn in the air to produce carbon dioxide, water, and heat. Because they produce a lot of heat, they are used as fuel. Alkanes are preferred domestic source of heat because the products of combustion, water and carbon dioxide are not poisonous. For example, methane burns in oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, water and heat. Two, Chlorination. Alkanes react with chlorine in the presence of sunlight or UV light to produce chlorinated alkane. For example, when methane reacts with chlorine in the presence of sunlight, it gives a mixture of chloromethane dichloromethane, trichloromethane, and tetrachloromethane. Mechanism for chlorination of alkanes. Note that one, a reaction is the breaking of bonds in the reactants and the formation of bonds in the product. Two, a mechanism is a series of steps indicating the order in which bonds break and form from the reactants to the product. Three, the atoms in alkanes and almost all organic compounds are bonded by covalent bonds. Four, a covalent bond is a bond formed by sharing electrons. A covalent bond, for example, a chlorine, can be represented as follows. The shared pair of electron indicates a covalent bond. Or chlorine dash chlorine a dash indicates a pair of shared electrons. Or chlorine atom, two dots chlorine atom. The two dots represent a shared pair of electrons. A covalent bond may break in two ways. One, homolytic fission. Here, the bond dissociates in such a way that each atom retains its electron, it contributed to form a bond. 
This can be represented as follows. The chlorine molecule will dissociate to form two chlorine radicals. Or the chlorine molecule will dissociate to form two chlorine radicals. Or a half arrow moves an electron to one atom and another half arrow moves an electron to another atom to form two chlorine radicals. Or a half arrow is used to show motion of an electron from a shared pair to each atom. Homolytic fusion forms atoms or groups of atoms with unshared electron called a free radical or simply a radical. A free radical or a radical is very reactive that it cannot remain in this form for a very long time. Chlorine free radical is represented with a dot anywhere around the atom. For instance, as follows, chlorine with a dot, chlorine with a dot, chlorine with a dot. Two, heterolytic fusion. Here, a covalent bond breaks in such a way that both electrons of the shared pair are retained by one atom only. And this is represented by a full arrow moving the shared pair of electron to one atom as shown above. The atom that gains the electron becomes negatively charged while the atom that loses its electron becomes positively charged. Usually, heterolytic fusion occurs in a covalent bond formed from unlike atoms such as hydrogen and chlorine. Here, the most electronegative atom becomes negatively charged. That is, chlorine becomes chloride anion and the hydrogen atom becomes hydrogen proton. Mechanism for chlorination of methane. It occurs in a series of steps, each step leading to a product, which product becomes a reactant in the next step. Such a reaction is called chain reaction. Step one, in the presence of sunlight, chlorine molecule undergoes homolytic fusion to form free radicals. In step two, the chlorine radical reacts and removes a hydrogen atom from methane to form a methyl free radical and hydrogen chloride. Ferri, the methyl radical reacts with chlorine molecule to form chloromethane and chlorine radical. Four, chloromethane reacts with a chlorine radical to form chloromethyl radical and hydrogen chloride. Five, chloromethyl radical reacts with a chlorine molecule to form dichloromethane and chlorine radical. Six, dichloromethane reacts 
with chlorine radical to form dichloromethyl radical and hydrogen chloride. 7. Dichloromethyl radical reacts with a chlorine molecule to form trichloromethane and chlorine radical. 8. Trichloromethane reacts with chlorine radical to form trichloromethyl radical and hydrogen chloride. And finally, 9 trichloromethyl radical reacts with a chlorine molecule to form tetrachloromethane and a chlorine radical. Terminating steps. These are reactions where free radicals combine to form neutral molecule, thus preventing further reaction. Some of the terminating steps include chlorine radical may combine with the chlorine radical to form a chlorine molecule. Two, a methyl radical may combine with a chlorine radical to form chloromethane. Three, two methyl radical may combine to form ethane and so on. Sources of alkanes 1. Petroleum products 2. Biogas Biogas is produced by anaerobic decomposition of organic matter such as cow dung, plant remains, feces in the presence of water. The main component of biogas is methane. Laboratory preparation is 1. By coupling reaction of alkyl halides in the presence of sodium and dry ether. For instance, chloromethane molecules couple in the presence of sodium to form ethane. 2 by reduction of alkanes. For instance, propene is reduced by hydrogen in the presence of nickel to form propane. Three, by reduction of alkanes. For instance, propane is reduced by hydrogen in the presence of platinum or nickel to produce propane. 4. Reduction of alcohols. An example, ethanol is reduced by hydrogen in the presence of platinum to produce ethane. Platinum and nickel can be used interchangeably. 5. Reduction of carbonyl compounds. For example, Ethanol is reduced by hydrogen in the presence of nickel to produce ethane. 6. By reduction of carboxylic acids. For example, ethanoic acid is reduced by hydrogen in the presence of nickel to produce ethane. 7. By cracking of longo chain alkanes. Cracking is the breakdown of long chain alkanes into short chain alkanes. Cracking may be catalytic when a catalyst is used or thermal when heat is used.